Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Tackle Tuesday video. However, I know this is Wednesday. You're watching a Tackle Tuesday on a Wednesday, but that's alright. Still got some information for y'all today, even though I'm a day late to the party. But today, as always, this Tackle Tuesday is sponsored by Fishgum, the channel. First link down in the description. Make sure you go check him out. But as you can tell, today's video is about jetty fishing. Jetty fishing is going to be hot and heavy right around the corner. And so we're going to talk about kind of the setups I use, all the bait that I like to take out there, and what specific species you can target off of the jetties. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright guys, so first thing we're going to talk about is the setups. Now when I go out to the jetties, I typically are taking two setups with me. So this is my larger setup. This is a Pen Conflict 5000. I got 40 pound braid on here and I got this paired up on the 10 foot bummy stick. Now the reason I use a 10 foot bummy stick for that is because a lot of times on these jetties you'll see these schools of fish and they will be a little further out and so you're going to have to sling some stuff to reach these fish. If you got schools of Spanish or big jacks or redfish or something like that, that's what I'm going to be using that setup for. And a lot of times, specifically for those, we'll be throwing big spoons, big jerk baits. So this is one of my favorites. This is a Yozuri long cast. I like throwing this one in white. I got the exact same one, but I got it in a blue. And so those I'll throw on that setup, as well as throwing big spoons. Dig through my box of stuff. I really like throwing this two ounce casting spoon off of the jetties. You can catch tons of fish with it. Even with that big spoon, you can still catch blue fish and Spanish, uh, but it also gives you opportunities that those, at any kings that may be coming by, or if you see schools of jacks and redfish, they're going to eat that spoon as well. Um, so typically when I'm throwing that rod, I either have that two ounce spoon or I got a big Yozuri jerk bait on there. And that's going to be for targeting those larger species of fish. Now those are going to be more prevalent kind of late spring, early summer. But typically the first ones to start showing up is going to be those blue fish and the Spanish. In which I've been throwing a pin battle three. This is a 4,000 size. I just got 20 pound braid. And I got this paired up with the eight foot star stellar. This is just a surf rod. Um, it is it's rated for eight to 20 pound line and a half ounce to three ounce lure. So you can, like if you got a bunch of schools that you've been seeing some bigger fish, if you want to have a spoon tied on one and one of the big jerk baits tied on the other, you can still throw the two ounce spoon on this. Plenty of backbone on this rod, but it's also nice and light enough that if you are specifically throwing towards those Spanish, uh, you can be good on those. Now, a few different options I got for the Spanish in here. I do really like throwing spoons. Should have pulled these out and organized them before we started this video. This spoon here is a three quarter ounce salt native silver spoon. Works really, really good off the J's. I also like throwing these diamond jigs. This is a Clark spoon diamond jig. They cast really, really well, especially when it's windy, and they are very effective for Spanish, bluefish, and other species like that. Now, Many of y'all are familiar with a gotcha plug. You can never go wrong with a gotcha plug. I always have one of those tied on here. And then, in this case, I got some of my smaller jerk baits. So this is just a smaller, smaller Yozuri there. And I, I like to keep a few different colors of them. Give you multiple options. Now this is the Rapala x wrap that I caught that tune off of. This is a really great lure. It's a little bigger than some of those other Yozuri's, but it's slightly smaller than this larger one. And so that's a good all around size right there. Again, you can catch those bigger Spanish, you can catch bluefish, you can catch the kings, the jacks, the redfish, all on these types of baits. Now I like to have as many different options of lures that I can have. So that's why I like to make sure I'm taking out a few different cases so in this case, I keep all my spoons, all these jigs. Let's see, 
Also got a Pompano jig somewhere in here. Here in the early spring when the Pompano starts showing up, a lot of times throwing a Pompano jig off the jetties can be extremely effective. And a lot of times you can actually catch some of those bigger Pompano off of throwing a jig. So as soon as you start seeing Pompano show up, head on out to the jetties. You can jig them off the end of there and catch some big ones. They have already started catching some Spanish a little further east of here, so it is not going to be very long. We do have some warm weather over like the next week or so. That's going to bring up our water temps. So hopefully those Spanish and those Pompano are going to be here very, very soon. In which case, we're going to get out to these piers, get out to these jetties, and try to put the smack down on them. And right, one other thing that I like to throw on the jetties is a popper. Now, this is a Halco. This is a 135. And I like throwing this early, early morning. If you can get out to the jetties before the sun's even up, start throwing that popper as the sun comes up. That is going to be a great option. Um, again, you're going to catch your bluefish, the Spanish. If there's jacks or redfish running, they're going to eat that as well. Pretty much anything is going to hit that popper, but there is nothing better than watching an early morning top water blow up, especially if it's a giant. So I like keeping top water on there as well. All these are great options for getting out there and catching multiple species of fish. Again, I like to have the two rods with me at all times. That way I can throw two different lures. If you do get broke off, you don't want to be spending time retying while you got some fish running through. So you can just put that one down, grab the other one, sling it out there, and give yourself the best opportunity to catch some fish. Now typically when I'm throwing for Spanish and bluefish, I'm going to be using 20 to 30 pound mono. The Spanish and bluefish do have very sharp teeth. So you want to have that thicker line just to help prevent from being cut off. When I am throwing for uh, big redfish or big jacks, I'm usually going to bump that up to like a 50 pound mono. And you can, you can tie on 50. Like typically what I'll do, if I know that i got opportunities at some bigger fish as well, I'll just tie on a longer 50 pound leader and I'll throw for everything with it. You're still going to, the, the Spanish and the bluefish are not really leader shy. So you're fine throwing that 50. If I know it's just going to be smaller fish, I'll just do the 20 or 30. But if you think you got the opportunity or you want to just be safe, tie on the 50 and that's going to be good for pretty much everything out there. And then if I am throwing like these bigger X wraps and I'm going to be trying to see if there's any kings out there, you do want to tie on some wire. So I usually tie on a 40 pound wire leader. It doesn't have to be long. Uh, six to eight inches is going to be plenty and then you can I'll tie that sometimes I'll tie that directly to my braid sometimes I'll tie on a little bit of a longer leader of that 50 pound mono that way if you end up getting broke off and you're just going to tie for tying something else you got that mono there you can tie on a different lure and keep on fishing but I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video quick short and to the point if you'll have any other questions about jetty fishing or anything like that, make sure you comment down below. If you have any other ideas about a Tackle Tuesday video, make sure you comment down below and I will try to make that video for you. Make sure you subscribe so y'all don't miss any other Tackle Tuesdays or any of the good fishing videos I got coming up here in the near future. I got a big announcement. I mentioned this last week, but I'm kind of getting late to finishing this video, but it is going to be out tomorrow so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the big announcement appreciate it guys thank you for watching until next time y'all take care